is David Allen. I want to thank you so much for coming out and listening to us play and sing. Y'all give it up for Danielle. She's amazing. Well, y'all came to hear me sing, I guess, so I should probably do that. Two weeks. It's amazing how two weeks off can suddenly make it feel like it's the first time you've ever played before. I can't tell you how nervous I am right now. I'm shaking in places that I've never shook before. But whenever we do these types of things, I always kind of, one of my favorite shows of all time is a, is a show they used to have on BH1 called Storytellers. I don't know if anybody's ever seen that before, but... It's always been a dream of mine to be on that show. I don't even know if they have it anymore. And quite frankly, I don't even know what channel VH1 is anymore. <laughs> I have direct TV and I grew up in a small town. We only had about 33 channels. I think VH1 was 32, MTV was 33. And I always wondered why 33 was missing. I found out my dad would always delete it. It was right when parental <laughs> control first started, I guess. But anyways, um, so tonight is going to be like storytellers, and if y'all get tired of hearing me talk, you can just tell me to shut the hell up and start singing again. And I'm, I'm like a robot. I'll just snap back into it. But um, this next song I'm going to sing for you is a tune that I wrote uh, when I was 26, 27 years old. I would kind of come out of a bad period of my life, and I thought that I had things figured out. And so I wrote this song, and a couple years later, I found myself right back in that same old position. So this song kind of 
over the last couple of months has kind of taken on a whole new meaning. It's a, it's a tune called This Time Around. It was off my first record. hard to believe because I look about a year older than Danielle um, but it, it has been 14 years and that's it's amazing uh, like I said earlier I grew up in a small town and to think that I've only or I've almost been in Nashville half of my life it just blows my mind um, but uh, when my first single came out called I'm about to come alive it didn't do very much and and I, I had met my wife about that time and and so I um, kind of came up with this philosophy that, you know, I, people would ask me, you know, what, where, where do you hope to be next year? And I would always say, you know, I hope that this year allows me a next year, and I hope next year allows me another year. And, and that's just kind of how my career has been the last few years. And, and uh, this song was kind of the, this next song was kind of the first song that, that kind of allowed me maybe about a year and a half. <laughs> I 
I was, I was sure that was going to happen after the first song, so God bless you. I appreciate that. Um, my wife went to Ole Miss. Um, they don't have a fancy cheer. I, you really don't have to boo them. There's no real reason. Y'all beat the shit out of them anyway. Sorry. Just shoot. Um, but uh, a few years ago, we played a, a Ohio State um, cruise. It was like 2,000 people that were Ohio State fans. And we would walk through the restaurant by the end of the week and my wife would be the one going, Oh, H! And I was scared to death that someone was going to ask her, like, what year did you graduate? And she was just going to stand there like, and we were going to get thrown off the boat. Don't really have a story for this next one, so I appreciate the cheer. Sunburn on your nose, you scream, squeeze my hand. 
tuck your toes and lean down Mustard on your lip I knew I loved you By the bottom of the fifth And never landed Me and perfect moments Go rushing through my brain Our first trip to the ocean The first time on the play We look over your shoulder See your mascara, but I can't recall the pain of what came after. And you are even beautiful, telling me goodbye. Maybe my version of the truth is just a lie. One does it, it one does it bad. song that we're going to sing, or that I'm going to sing, or I'm going to try to sing, is a song that, um, well, quite frankly, we don't do that often, and um, I was meeting with some people a little earlier, and they requested it, and it's one of those songs that, um, if you see me looking down here, I have words. Not for this song, for another song, and I've sang probably 300 times, but for some reason I just gotta have them down there. I don't look at them necessarily, but just knowing they're there just makes me feel so much better. I don't have the words to this next song, which could be a recipe for disaster. But it's one of my favorite songs. I grew up, my father was a band director and, and he played piano and I grew up playing a lot of songs with my dad. I didn't, it wasn't until I was, um, had a record deal that I had my first band, and so it was really me and my father for the majority of my lifetime, anytime I sang in front of people. And so I've always been a stickler for piano songs, and I love the piano. James Farrell, everyone. Is... He is not my father. He, he is going to do his best. Dennis uh, interpretation. My father's name is Dennis, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, um, this next song, I've been lucky to have, um, I feel like, some really good songs come my way, and, and not necessarily all of them have had commercial success, but I feel like that they're all important for their own reasons. And um, this next song came to me at the perfect time, and it was one of those moments in my career where I was kind of wondering if things were going to happen. 
if uh, this was if I was making the right choice or if I was supposed to be a PE teacher, which was my plan B, <laughs> which would involve going back to school, which never was a really successful endeavor of mine. Um, and when you can't get a degree and, and go into college in Arkansas, you're really screwed. <laughs> I hope no one's from Arkansas. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're just going to try this, and if I remember all the words, I'll buy you all a diet, Dr. Pepper. <laughs>
It's hard to find a perfect time To say something you know It's gonna change everything But living without the change It ain't nothing like the pain There's so on the face February that I'm really excited about and I've been saying that for a while now the February part and I just realized tonight that February is not that far away it'll be here before you know it when you start saying you got a new record coming out in July it's coming out in February you're like god man that's a long ass time away man people are gonna be so disinterested by February they want it now right but it's coming out in February, and that's like, you know, when you get all your iTunes gift cards, people, for Christmas, you can hold it in your pocket till February. 
There is nothing going to be happening on iTunes in January that you need to waste your money on. That is my money. So now that we got the old songs out of the way, can I play a new song? Not that song. But it's new. So, uh, uh, this is, I'm partly being funny, I'm partly being serious. A couple years ago, I started going to a shrink, and it has changed my life. <laughs> Nobody laugh. Normally, people laugh. I have to tell them, no, seriously, I've been going to a shrink. It has changed my life. It's, it's so nice to have somebody completely objective in the room that, to hear your problems. You know, normally, when I complain to my wife, she just listens, she doesn't listen. She goes to the other room and tells me I don't care. That's why I have to go to the shrink. She made me crazy. But I have, I've, I, you know, I sang a song, Let It Rain, which was a sad song. Red Light was a sad song. Turn Home was kind of bittersweet. Sound of a Man Dreams is, I don't know what that falls into. It's, it's just a feel good. It's a feel good, right? It's not sad. But uh, I got tired of singing sad songs. I got tired of people coming up to me all the time and saying, Come on, David, get happy. <laughs> happy, happy. <laughs> and so finally I figured out that get happy just means go to a shrink. And so I started going to a shrink. <laughs> and you won't believe this. They have medicine now that just makes you happy. <laughs> That's all you gotta do is wake up in the morning, take a couple of pills, voila. <laughs> no, I wish it was that easy. Sometimes it is. But, uh, so this, this new record I really wanted to focus on, um, happy, happy songs. <laughs> Love songs. As you can see, I'm a pretty dry, serious person, so for me to get all lovey-dovey, this is a hard deal. It takes a lot of medicine. <laughs> Literally, once a month, I go to my CVS, and I, I keep waiting for the lady to say, Really? Another one? <laughs> I'm serious. Y'all think I'm joking, man. She's filming it. <laughs> I wouldn't be making this up if it was like, I really would have not got into this if I'd have known she was feeling it. <laughs> anyway, so, I, so I, I'm, I got this new record. It's coming out in February. We're all saving our iTunes gift cards, even me. I'm going to buy my own record. And y'all are going to listen to it, and y'all are going to be like, golly, man, he really was going to a shrink. <laughs> and this is a love song. It's called Burning Bed. Good. 
us from the inside This burning bed is gonna burn us till the ashes scattered on the ground Here he rolls my heart, can't get you out of my head There's So I'm, I'm not going to tell a story near as long as that last story. It kind of threw me off when she had the video camera out, so I apologize for that. Mom, Dad, oh, you're not recording now while I'm apologizing to my parents. I haven't even told my mom that I'm going to a shrink, and I just told 600 people. I'm out of the shrink closet. So I can't tell you, man, I recorded this song about a year ago, um, and... And I would love to say that I knew it was going to do what it's done. It's changed my life. I can't even tell you how many ways, but uh, it uh, just uh, it's got some wings, man. It just keeps flying, and um, I'm loving it, man. My wife shocks a lot, so I needed to keep flying. <laughs> She got 
times in blue jeans, painted on tiny little money walks on Saturday night. She got a blue ring, they don't say so. She wants so when she moves every joint and ground and I do what I want her style. I want, I want, I want whatever she's got. Yeah, I want whatever she's got. She's a little bit complicated, but this No, I got no story for this next song. This is going to be our last song. I know that everybody wants to stay out all night, but it's a Wednesday, and there's some people in here that's got to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> Not me. Um, I do have to fly to St. Louis tomorrow, in case anybody was wondering. Um, go Cards. <laughs> So this next song um, I'm going to sing for you is, you know when I told you that the sound of me in dreams was my favorite song, I lied. I'm sorry. That's something else that I'm dealing with with the shrink. Actually, I'm kidding. But, uh, kind of. Um, this next song, like I've said a few times, I grew up in a small town, about 10,000 people. We were talking to Danielle. Danielle, believe it or not, she has a thousand people in her class. Like graduating class, can you believe that? A thousand people. I only got 10,000 in my town. I graduated with 99. We started with 143, some of them weren't quite aiming for the stars, I guess. But, uh, I've spent the better part of this year on the road, and I love where I grew up. I'm very proud to be where I'm from, and, and I love my mama and my daddy and my sister and my friends, and I don't get to see them that much. But I was just home for Thanksgiving, and I gotta tell you, um, I went across the street and got my granddaddy's truck. And it has a cassette tape player. It's the only car that I know right now that still has a cassette tape player. <laughs> And I got a couple of my cassettes that I collected when I was a kid, when I very first started getting into country music. And I put them in the cassette tape and I drove around my town, which you can do in about five minutes. <laughs> but it brought back so many memories and um, it's crazy how you leave some place and you, you know, what you chose to do for a living takes you to all these different places. It takes you to New York City, it takes you to Akron, Ohio, it takes you to LA. And you eat in a lot of fancy restaurants and you stay in a lot of nice hotels, but at the end of the day, you can't get where you spent 18 years of your life. You can't get that out of your system. And that's just who I am. And it's... My wife would just will not move back, damn it. <laughs> but I'm working on it. With my shrink. <laughs> but anyways, this, this next song is... is it's just who I am. It's, it's, uh, it, it talks about where I'm from. And I thank the good Lord every night that I get to sing this song. If you know the words, God bless you. You listen to entirely too much radio. If you, if you don't, you can just act like you do and sing something. It's a tune called Turn Home. Usually take one last pass for town Stop the car and touch the ground Watch those street lights swaying in the breeze Decorated storefronts Rusty old girls palms Try to feel my mind up Something for a go
clear when I'm gone It keeps me turning on Standing down beneath these moments Takes me back to those all night Hometown, they just packed real tight As we marched down the field Feet would swing from a drop tail gate out on out for the wrong hill lane. No longer long allowed to stay. We usually made it home alright. In glory days I can't live. Stories I'll never forget. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the old friends I never seem to laugh now Like I did with them The deep inside me A piece of my history Yeah, I hear their voices Even on the gong It keeps me turning Oh, yeah Mr. Hewitt Payne on the percussion Y'all get it up Never twice the same way does it start I should know she stole my heart On that old gym floor Spin around and around the night And though we both tried hard to wait We sure did love the taste And the sweet love me and me Thank y'all so much, man. Y'all truly been an incredible audience. God bless y'all.